This ultrasound study is that of the thyroid gland as uh, there is a swelling, rounded swelling which is uh, hard, immobile and uh, is in the midline above the higher bone, appears to be above the higher bone in the midline. This is the area of uh, a female patient aged approximately 50 years. Uh, let's see what, what is the pathology on ultrasound. <coughs> this is, these are the two thyroid lobes. This is the left lobe of the thyroid in transfer section. This is the right lobe of the thyroid in transfer section. Landmark being common carotid artery, internal jugular vein. Common carotid artery, internal jugular vein being the landmark. This is the tracheal layer and this is the isthmus. There is no focal area, no calcification seen relating to the thyroid lobe in transfer section. Well, in longitudinal section, what we see is that uh, this cyst is superior to the thyroid. In the, this is the cystic area seen in the midline, superior to the thyroid. My ear is approximately 2.3 2.6 centimeters is uh, placed. This is the, I mean, this is the right lobe of the thyroid in longitudinal section, and this is the uh, superiorly placed midline cystic area with common carotid artery transfer section and even a tubular vein in transfer section seen posterior to it in the middle now. So this, <coughs> this is the condition. Uh, now there is, uh, you see now, this is the left right row, which this is the parathyroid gland. This is the parathyroid gland in the right row, and there is a small septa seen within this uh, cystic area. No calcifications are seen, no debris is seen in the cystic area, it does not change its shape. When I give a sweep to the probe, it remains in the midline above the high eye bone. And uh, a midline structure in the high eye, above the high eye bone. This is superior to the thyroid. Now this is the left lobe of the thyroid. And uh, with uh, no cyst, no cystic area, no solid area, no calcification seen relating to this uh, and, uh, the longitudinal section of the left thyroid gland. This is the common carotid artery trunk. In longitudinal section, the landmark for the identification of the thyroid uh, uh, gland and this is the parathyroid gland and remember I am performing this ultrasound by 3.5 megahertz probe whereas the requirement is 7.5 plus. Now this is this is the structure, this is the air posterior to the uh, central uh, area of the windpipe. So now summing up this is the right lobe of the thyroid gland, this area in transfer section. This is the left lobe of the thyroid gland in transfer section. This is the superior phase internally clear cystic area that does not change its shape when I gave the sweep to the throat and uh, uh, it's <coughs> in the midline and it's very much consistent with uh, a thyroglossal cyst with the possible differentials of uh, brachial cleft cyst. Brachial cleft cyst is really placed a bit laterally and not seen in the midline. This can be a dermoid. The other differential is uh, that it can be a dermoid. So the cyst retains its shape. However, we can see a few 
yeah. here now we can see a few tiny ecogenicities within this district area along with a few septa. So this uh, ultrasound study pertains to the uh, thyroglossal cyst. Thank you.